Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today we're going to tie a fancy prince. The hook I have in the vise is a two extra long nymph hook. This is a size 12 and it's a barbless hook. I have a three millimeter bead on there and this is a black one. You can use whatever color you'd like. I am have success with all the different colors. <clears throat> I put some 15 thousandths lead free wire on there about a dozen wraps I'm going to use black 8 aught thread I'm going to start the thread behind the lead wraps and we're going to use that thread to push the lead wraps further into the bead and it will help to secure them there bring our thread back to the end of the flat now for our tail we're going I'm going to use a golden pheasant crest feather single feather we're going to tie that in right on top with that natural curve I'm going to put a wrap underneath it And we'll go ahead and secure that. Now I'm going to tie in a rib. And for the rib, I have a number 16 tinsel. This is copper and holographic copper on one side and holographic silver on the other. I'm going to tie it in so I can see the copper side. And when I wrap it, we will see the silver side. Now for the body, we're going to use two peacock hurl break off about an inch off the end and get that really brittle stuff out of there and we're going to tie them in by the tip and then we're going to go ahead and secure them and bring our thread up to about halfway or a little more than half into the lead wraps take our peacock curl and wrap that forward make some nice tight wraps there Let me back that off there a couple. There we go. And I got quite a few wraps on there. Nice tight body. And we're going to tie that off and remove the excess. Put a couple of wraps in front to get that locked in. And then we can remove the excess. Now we're going to take our tinsel or the rib and we're going to palmer that forward. Make sure you keep a good tension on there. And when you go to tie it down, make sure you keep that tension on until you have a couple of wraps. And then we can go ahead and pull that back and put a couple of wraps on top of that and get rid of that excess. Now I'm going to take a ginger hackle. I'm going to tie that in. And we're going to give this about two wraps is all you want. One and two. Nice legs there. And we're going to tie that down. And 
and remove that excess. I'm going to hold the hackle towards the rear and I'm going to come back on it just one or two wraps just to get that going towards the back there. Now we're going to take our white goose biots and we're going to tie these in. We want those use that natural curve and we want that uh, wing to go just to the back of the body. I'm going to tie it in. I'm holding it on my side and across to the far side. Take the other one that natural curve and I'm holding it from my side to the far side in the front. And if you do this correct, you should have an X on your, with your goose biots. And the amount that you have them split really depends on you. Try different, different ones. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess. And finish securing that. Now we have a big spot of thread there, so I'm going to take a little bit of uh, black crystal dub. Just a pinch of any kind of dubbing. Dark dubbing would be fine. And we'll put a couple of wraps on there just to hide that thread. Take our whip finish. Pull that tight, snug it in real nice. Take our head cement, and I'll put a drop of head cement right there on the bead. And even on that dubbing, let it soak in there. And here we have a fancy prince. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.